Hello traders, it's Wednesday, October the 19th, and here is Options XO's London Daily Review. Core consumer price index data from the US came in below its estimates. Also, the housing market index from the National Association of Home Builders missed its forecasted reading. Wall Street did manage to turn in moderate gains on Tuesday across the major indexes on better corporate earnings being reported. Traders have seemingly positioned themselves for an interest rate hike from the Federal Reserve in December, but the lackluster data from the states continues to make the move look like a one-and-done scenario. Today, building permits data will come from the states. The US dollar traded sideways against major currencies in a choppy FX market. China gross domestic product numbers and industrial production results were published early today. GDP numbers met their expectation, but industrial figures were negative. Trading in Asia was positive on Tuesday. Trading today has been cautious on the indexes. The yen continues to trade in a tight range against the US dollar, but has been slightly stronger this morning. The UK presented inflation data on Tuesday, and it continued to show that economic conditions in Britain remain shadowed by weak growth. Today, the UK claimant count change numbers will be published. European equity indexes turned in positive action on Tuesday. The pound did gain slightly against the US dollar yesterday, while the euro remained mired in a tight range. The ECB will issue their monetary policy decision tomorrow. Gold put in solid gains on Tuesday. The precious metal remains near important support levels, but it has shown the ability to climb in value recently. Gold may be getting speculative buyers because US economic data has been lacklustre. Crude oil remains in an extremely tight range and should also be monitored. Commodity traders should continue to brace for potential volatility. The UK will publish claimant count change results at 8.30 GMT this morning. The US will release important building permits numbers at 12.30 GMT. And a bit later, in the afternoon, at 2.30 GMT, the US will also issue crude oil inventories results. Thank you for watching, have a good trading day, and we will see you again soon.